So keep in mind with our operating pressure, the lower it is, the lower output you get. But because it's pneumatic and this is not designed to be a direct control over the pressure output towards the patient, it has to have enough pressurization inside of this in order for it to operate. So you will notice that if you get too low on your operating pressure, the device will just cut off, okay? Even though it's reading a PSI. With that being said, we initially start with our arrow at the 12 o'clock position. We're gonna to wanna to do a 15, upwards of 20 minute treatment. If it's a 15 minute treatment, which is gold standard, you can break this up into three phases, or you can break it up into as many as you need, but following the same philosophy. And the philosophy is gonna be going fast, and then slow and then fast again. If we just followed it in those three phases, when we go fast, we're gonna spend five minutes there. Then we're gonna turn the dial back to a slower position, five minutes there. And then we're gonna go fast again for five minutes, giving us our full 15 minutes. If you wanted to break this down in two or three minute increments, you still follow the same thing. We're gonna go, in this case, Starts at the 12 o'clock position. We are going to speed it up for two minutes, and then we slow it down to the 12 o'clock position, or slower, depending on how well our patient tolerates it. It's fine to use a full spectrum. It's fine to use a narrower window, because it's really based off how comfortable the patient and how responsive they are to the therapy. We customize the therapy for the patient. If they are comfortable and they're doing well, we spend two minutes there, then we're gonna speed it back up for another two minutes or three minutes, and you keep playing that game of going back and forth up over the course of the full, for full 15 minutes. Just keep in mind, this is really based off of your assessment of the patient, right? Faster the frequency is, up to a certain limit, the better the recruitment will be for the patient, the better they oxygenate. The slower the frequency is, again, up to a certain limit, the better they get enhanced airway clearance, they also wash out CO2 faster, right? And so we are gonna find the sweet spot for the patient based off of how they respond during that treatment. And they can definitely respond differently between treatments. The second or third time around, maybe they're more recruited. Maybe you're gonna get more secretions out. Maybe you get a bunch of stuff out and then by the second day, they're not as productive. And then follow up x-rays, you see improvements in the x-rays, right? They were once whited out and now nice, dark, open areas, fantastic. Our expectation is within the first 24 to 48 hours, you should see dramatic changes in your x-rays. And because this also ventilates your patient, it has an advantage really over any airway clearance device out there because you're actually taking the work of breathing off of your patient, right? Things to keep in mind, gold standard tool for your sickest patient populations, Custom customizability, is that a word? I don't know. <laughs> Customizes, drop the pressure lower in order to make it comfortable. We always have skittish patients, we've all had them. Slowly ramp it up in order to achieve effective therapy and have successful treatments, which is the name of the game. You can have the best treatment in the world, but if you can't get your patient to do it, it's not gonna help. So, trust in IPV, learn it, love it. It's gonna do wonders once you get it going. Thank you for your time. Quick tips with IPV. Thanks.